My name is Ron Grover. I'm a technical support engineer for Go Engineer. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to SolidWorks drawings and highlight some of the tools that make drawing creation in SolidWorks easy and efficient. The purpose of any drawing is to communicate. In fact, drawings are considered the visual language of industry and engineering. Because of this, SolidWorks has created some powerful tools to help you create clear, consistent, and concise drawings that meet industry standards. Let's dive in and see how this is accomplished. Here's a part that I have modeled in SolidWorks 2014 for which a drawing needs to be created. There are a few methods of creating a drawing, but I'm going to focus on the most common ones. The easiest way to create a drawing when you are in a model file is to click on the file in the menu bar and choose the Make Drawing from Part. You can also use the new file flyout on the menu bar and choose Make Drawing from Part. I'll use this method for this demonstration. This is the same method used to produce a drawing for an assembly. Once the Make Drawing from Part option is clicked, the New Document window is opened. In this window, you can choose the drawing template you wish to use. Depending on your company's setup, you may have one or more templates to choose from. The New Document window may also open in Novice mode. In this mode, if the drawing icon is clicked, SolidWorks will use the template specified in the Default Template option in the System Options. I'll use the Advanced mode and choose the default SolidWorks drawing template seen here and click OK. SolidWorks will create a drawing file and present you with some sheet format and size options. As with the template, your options may be different depending on your company's setup. The sheet format basically represents the title block and border to be used on the drawing. You can choose whether or not to display the sheet format by toggling the checkbox. For this demo, I'll choose a B sized paper and leave the option to display the sheet format checked and click OK. I now have a blank drawing on which I can place views of my model. SolidWorks automatically opens the view palette from which we can place predefined views. This saves time and is very efficient. To place a view on the drawing, you simply drag and drop the view where you need it. I'll place the top view on the drawing. Once the initial view is placed, SolidWorks will automatically try to create projected views from the placed view. This is a great time-saving feature. As you can see, it is very easy to create all the necessary views of the model. I can easily place any necessary dimensions by clicking to activate the annotation ribbon menu and selecting Smart Dimension. Several other dimension types and options can also be accessed by clicking on the flyout arrow and clicking on the desired dimension type. I'll click on Smart Dimension and choose some edges to place a dimension. I can use the Automatic Placement tool to quickly place the dimension as defined by the drawing standard. I can add more dimensions and use the Automatic Placement to arrange those dimensions. Dimensioning other features is also very easy. I will delete these views in order to highlight a few more great features with regards to creating views. In the Options area of the View Palette, there are several view placement options. Most SolidWorks models have dimensions that were used to create the geometry of the model, and by checking the option to import annotations, as well as the design annotations option, SolidWorks will automatically place those dimensions on the drawing. This is a great time-saving feature. However, the placement of the dimensions is not ideal. In order to clean up the placement of these dimensions, Simply box select the dimensions and move the cursor over the Dimension Palette Rollover button. Click Auto Arrange Dimensions and the dimensions will be arranged according to the standard used for the drawing. Drawing standards can be set via the Overall Drafting Standard option in the Document Properties. The model I am using has holes created using the SolidWorks Hole Wizard. SolidWorks can leverage the information used to create the hole to easily create hole callouts. To create the callout, choose the hole callout tool from the annotation ribbon menu. In this model, all of the holes are identical, so I only need to select one of the holes, and the callout is created with all of the correct information. SolidWorks has many other tools to produce notes and callouts with ease. SolidWorks can also leverage metadata contained in the file to automate filling out the title block. Templates can be set up to use custom properties or file properties of the drawing or model. Not only does this save time, 
but also helps eliminate mistakes made from manual data entry. This has been a quick look at some of the features and tools that you can use to create your drawings in less time and with greater ease. Thanks for watching and have a great day.